Hello, welcome to the Daily Bible Study and 21st Century Moses Channel. My name is Sammy Jew. Michael Jordan said, I'm deeply saddened, truly pained, and plain angry. I see and feel everyone's pain, outrage, and frustration. New York Times said, Global anger grows over George Floyd's death. Yes, it's time for righteous anger over prolonged racism and systematic injustice. But the question is, is anger the answer? Is it going to solve the problem? Let's see how scripture says about it and how we should deal with anger and approach our issues. Let's read Ephesians 4, 26, 27. Be angry and yet do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and do not give the devil an opportunity. Now let's look at the word opportunity here. In Greek is topos. It means place or seat. So when you give the devil an opportunity, topos, it means you're giving devil the seat in your heart. So let's look at this verse in relation to other verses. Because it says, be angry. So it doesn't say stop angry. It says be angry because we have uh, righteous anger. If there's any wrong things we see that we need to be angry however very important yet do not sin where do you see this verse in psalm 4 4 tremble and do not sin here we go and meditate in your heart upon your bed and be still yes it is okay to be angry sometimes but we should not sin because the anger can bring unrighteousness because James 1 20 it says for the anger of man does not achieve the righteousness of God so if you continue to be angry you can sin so we should be very careful and also it so it says do not let the Sun go down on your anger so do not go over uh, one day when you're angry um, do not keep it to the next day and it says do not give the devil the opportunity or seed in your heart because second Peter 5 8 says be of sober spirit sober spirit be on the alert your adversary the devil pros pros around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour so if you s continue to be angry Eventually, you will sin, but the worst problem is the devil will take a seat in your heart. Why this is important? Because this is ultimately the spiritual warfare. Ephesians 4, 6, 12, 6, 12, it says, For our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, in other words, human, but it is against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places so our real fight is against the the spiritual evil the uh, the satan and devils so that is the real fight of course we need to fight for the uh, injustice and all those problems that we see in the world but we have to be mindful that we are our real fight is against the spiritual fight so the lesson is first who is God God is God of peace who is the world worldly mind provokes and keeps anger now who is the church church manages her anger in God's mercy and power so the application is first pray for God's help when you get angry again sometimes it's okay to be angry but we need God's help to manage that so we need to pray and second meditate on God's Word when anger rides within you because God's Word is the power and we need to depend on him by meditating on God's Word and lastly leave your anger to God because God is the ultimate judge so our judge uh, even if it looks f good but it can be twisted so we need to trust God not us not our human being and we need to leave all our anger to God 
and ultimately resist the devil because this is the ultimate fight, the spiritual warfare. Friends, yes, there is injustice going on in the world and we need to fight against it. However, before we do that, we need to think about injustice in us. The Bible says we're all sinners, but God loves us and He sent His only Son and Jesus died on the cross and God showed justice and love all together at the same, same time on the cross. So let's think about that and give thanks to the Lord. And let's pray that God would help us to move forward with His love as we deal with this injustice in the world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You, praise You, that You showed the perfect justice and love on the cross that we receive the forgiveness because of Jesus Christ, your Son, died for our sins. Father, with this love, we want to move forward. Yes, there is injustice going on in the world, but Father, please help us that we would not be over angry, but we would be able to manage our anger, but move forward by leaving our anger to you so that your glory would be uh, manifested and justice would overflow from you, Lord. Father, we thank you, praise you. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen.